Hi. Welcome to the first monthly complimentary drum lesson. I'll be doing one of these each month at the beginning of each month, so feel free to check. And also feel free to email me in or YouTube me in your requests. I've had a lot of requests to explain different things, both from my students and people who have maybe seen me at seminars. So one of my first projects will be to try to recreate a seminar I gave on how to drum solo, because I've had a lot of requests for that, to create an appropriate drum solo for just the right kind of style that the song's in. But first, my duty as a drum instructor is to get the hands going. <laughs> and what better way than the first three pages of stick control I have a different way that I use the stick control book centering on the first three pages and I'd like to explain that to you because I spend a lot of time in my lessons going over that way. The first way is with the hands for snare drum technique and the second way is to apply it to the drum set. You see these pages, uh, I'm sorry, you see the first three pages exercises 1 through 72 are nothing more the combinations of singles and doubles, and occasional triples. Wouldn't it be great if we could be playing along and receive the ultimate compliment? Was that doubles, triples, or what were you doing on snare? Because if we can, then we can manipulate that to different drums and different stickings of the drum set so that we may be at ease at any time, any fill, starting on any beat with uh, either hand. So that's the goal to get proficient in the first three pages of the stick control. What I recommend, always practicing with the metronome, starting at about 80 for these first three pages. I, first of all, I use the metronome in half time so that it doesn't click as much and I can concentrate on listening to my sticks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're looking at four notes for every time the metronome clicks. So for first exercise, one and two and three. Did I hear you say that's easy? Yes. Oh, okay. Jacob, the cameraman, who I'm deeply indebted to, said, that's easy. <clears throat> but aha, what point should we be listening for? Well, there's a whole bunch. Are your sticks making the same sound? Are they the same height? Are they the same angle? Will they sound cool when we double time them? So that's first starting off at 80. Uh, let's try exercise number three. Most of the world level players pay homage to this uh, group of exercises in stick control. And they're always trying to boost up their speed while relaxing more and more the faster they go. Let's go to 100 now. Pick a different one. Number five, one of my favorites. Self-explanatory, of course. Single paradiddle. Or number six, a little bit more interesting, the inverted paradiddle. Boost that speed up there. Crank this baby up. Now we're going to be doing it at 120. Different volumes. We could go to 120, 140, 160. Let me try to double time it. Just barely. After I turn this tape off, I'm going to be practicing that one. But that's what we want, is to eventually be able to do all of these, number 1 through 72, uh, faster and faster, more and more relaxed. 
No, let's pick one. Oh, if you were thinking I was going to forget number 10, you can forget it because I'm not. Uh, I've got number 10 right here because that's an example of triples. Let's see if I can double time that. Whoa! I'm good, but not that good. Now for the second part of our stick control lesson, we're going to apply it to the drum set. I'm going to make one substitution. Um, first of all, we still have the metronome at 80, giving us half notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whatever the stick control book says left hand, we'll still keep that on the left. But when it says right hand, we're going to substitute the right foot. So for example, number three, one, two, three, would be Notice I added the right hand because it's not doing anything. It doesn't have anything else better to do. Um, it's just to play quarter notes. So therefore, that is the goal of doing stick control, the first 72 exercises this way, is you want to be able to, just like with the hands on snare drum alone, be able to substitute combinations of doubles, singles, and triples. Faster and faster until you don't have to think about it at all. But you can just kind of spontaneously create them. So let's try a few more. I'm going to try, let's see. That's cool. It's now at 100. I like that. Take initiative. Push me. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's do uh, number six. Jacob, um, pick a number between 1 and 72. Mm, 22. Wrong! But, and I knew you would pick that number. No, um, let's try that, and let's see here. Okay, this is actually good, because it involves um, three on the bass drum. And the last thing that I want to do is then go over all these exercises, playing only every other one on your right hand. So half notes on your right hand. Let me try to mix and match. So the best thing about that is then it leads to, you know, we could just mess around. I prefer that with the half, half, half note uh, kind of thing. So that's it. We'll see you on the next lesson.